Hi everyone, it's Neve here and welcome to my art journaling channel. Today we're going to be making some quick art journal pages and we're going to be working through a creative block. So I'm starting out on this page and I really didn't know what I wanted to do today. I was just playing around because I needed to get into my art journal but I had no inspiration. So on the left hand side page was just um, a new stencil I had, the bumps um, through black paint. And on this page, I was trying to do um, a resist with gel medium. And I'd kind of pulled out my gloss sprays because I wanted to have a bit of a go with them. So I'm working on a canvas page in my Dilution, not my Dilutions, my Dina Wakely journal. And I sponged through um, my stencil with some gel medium so it was clear but you can do um, with gesso and it gives you a sort of a bit of a resist um, which is what I was trying to do so I am heating it up a little bit just to sort of get the um, it dry a little bit it takes longer to dry on the canvas obviously because it's soaking into the material um, so just be aware of that I also have laid down a stencil over the top just to get some extra sprays now what was happening was I was I was just playing around and um, I haven't at this stage I hadn't played with my sprays for a long time and I was just trying to get my feel a feel back for them um, I have a love-hate relationship with sprays that's why I tend to use them in different ways so dripping them or spritzing them or so on I like I like the product but um, there's something about sprays I found the same with the dilution spray spraying it I really struggle with whereas if I use it in different ways I'm fine with them because I love the colors so I decided since I had this background I was going to do some collage over the top and I want to do some sort of magazine collage so you can see me going through my different bits and pieces trying to find some things I've got some very weird and wonderful pieces that um, I found from um, art um, artist journals that weird fish costume came from an art journal um, fashion magazines are really good uh, better homes and gardens all those sorts of things you can find some really interesting stuff so I'm just going in trying to find sort of a hat or something I can put on her I really like that star I decided I was going to instead of um, making it from a magazine I was actually going to stamp out some hair so this is a stamp from dilutions I think it's supposed to be seaweed or a plant or something but I actually most of the time when I use it I use it as hair and I tend to cut it into two pieces so I can have it as sort of cascading hair either side so I'm just using my craft knife to cut out the bits in the middle I'm, I'm not one really for fussy cutting I have to say um, that's why I tend to stamp and go on the run and when I've cut it out here I've just sort of cut through some of the curves so you know make it as easy as possible for yourself when I was putting this in I realized that it wasn't quite going to reach the top the way I wanted it to so um, I sort of had to rearrange it please excuse the lighting on the uh, magazine on the gloss it sort of um, shines a little bit so now I'm just gluing everything down and I'm just using regular um, PVA glue to do that. Uh, and um, when you're gluing down collage, you do need to work out what you need to glue down first. So I tend to have everything laying down um, in the right position where I want it. And then I can sort of do the, the things over the top. So obviously putting on the crown, putting on the, the star last. So once I've got my, my magazine down there, I really like those words, rewrite the rules. So I decided that I was going to keep those. And they were just cut out from a um, fashion magazine, one of the titles. Sometimes you can, in magazines, get really good titles that you can sort of use in a different way. So they're handy to look through. I often forget to look at the words because I'm just looking at the images when I'm doing sort of a, a magazine cull. So quite often, you know keep an eye out for something interesting when I do a magazine collage as well one of the first things I do is to outline everything with a black pen and that kind of um, turns it back into a very flat 2d picture 
um, almost cartoon makes it like cartoon like when you put the sort of extra details in and you can add things like crazy eyelashes um, extra details on the clothing and all sorts around her eye is very dark at the moment um, so near the end of the process I will probably put the whites of her eyes in just to brighten it up again and to make it um, a focus on the page when I do collages like this I tend to uh, use two or three different colors of paint pen as well and they're my favorite colors I don't know or I kind of do know why I grab them because they're usually just the top things on my, the closest to me um, but I've got the turquoise the pink and um, a white and black pen are the ones I tend to grab every time I do a magazine collage and that I suppose for me because that's those are the colors I use a lot gives me a bit of um, continuity in my books as well with how I'm doing it so you can see I'm adding details everywhere I'm putting some into the crown onto the star you can really make each of these things your own and there's nothing difficult about what I've done I've just put in dots or lines so I'm not adding in um, really difficult patterns or anything you know strange and unusual it's just using the pens and adding in a little bit extra one thing I do like to do with magazine collages is to put a border around them now because I didn't really know what I was doing before I started this I obviously glued everything down um, without putting a border on so I'm sort of having to work around my collage so to speak so I find washi tapes really really handy for doing quick borders uh, it also gives me an opportunity to use up my washi tape because I do have a fair few rolls of it and don't use it very often so by using it on the borders of my pages that really helps I find having a border also helps me ground my figure so you can see she's actually standing on something instead of floating on in thin air so it just makes it sort of work together a little bit more so now I'm just working out where I'm going to put my my words on my page I really don't mind on pages like this that my words or my quotes go over my image because to me it's the words that are actually really important even though the image is fun and quirky and so on the words are actually what I'm doing it for so or what my what represents my journaling so on this page I will do I'm not sure if I do any journaling on this because I think I get distracted by the other page but I yeah oh, here I go uh, I'm just doing a little bit of writing about why rewriting the rules is important for me why I thought that you know what was it about that that stuck in my mind now this is the way I usually do journaling on these pages I draw out wiggly lines and then just write so if I run out of room one line I just continue the word on the next line and what happens is it ends up kind of looking like a pattern in the background it is readable but you do have to get quite close to it to read it because the sort of spacing and the letters are all the same size and so on so it's a good way of kind of disguising your hand handwriting without really worrying about it I'm writing with my Posca paint pen onto the canvas so you do need to be aware the canvas is obviously not a smooth surface to write on and it can catch and splatter a little bit again that doesn't really bother me and particularly because I don't you know I've written it so it's out of my head I don't really need to go back and write it again but just be aware that you know if you want it to be easy to read you might find it a little bit tricky um, on the canvas because it's not that smooth surface one thing I'm going to do is to put my um, pen around the other side on the next page I just wanted to finish off I still had lots to say so I found that image of the masquerade ball when I was going to my college if you looked before so I decided to stick that down I just painted yellow over it because I thought it worked well and found a quote about a masquerade that I really liked and again writing over my um, image so I could fit the quote in because the quote was the important part for me for that page so those are two really quick pages that I did to get through my block it was just working they're not the best pages I've ever done but they were enough to get me moving and get my thoughts out on the page which is what art journaling is all about thank you so much for watching till next time bye for now